Today we are going to be taking a look at the Ascent, released in 2021. This is a twin stick isometric shooter set in a cyberpunk themed open world. This game also features RPG elements, so you are going to be constantly upgrading your character attributes as well as your weapons. So this game features a ton of weapons, all with their distinct personalities and uses. And there are digital weapons and there are ballistic weapons, energy weapons and special category weapons and they are all very very distinct and all have their use uses in different scenarios as a different source of enemies respond differently to different types of weapons so you are going to be constantly switching weapons according to the situation you are in and the type of resistance you are facing and then you've got these augmentations that grant you various abilities so you are never going to be feeling bored or you're never going to feel that the combat is getting repetitive because you are going to be using different sorts of weapons along with the the augmentations which grant you special abilities so the combat is really fantastic the open world design the look is really amazing and uh, yeah everything feels so good the cyberpunk theme is nailed very very nicely here and everything looks perfect the neon soaked streets and uh, the wet look of the upper levels and uh, the murky look of the deeper levels of this metropolis it gives every level a distinct feel it also features a uh, fast travel system but the fast travel system is on only going to work on the same level like you cannot go from a level to another one though you can travel on the same level with the fast travel pretty easily so that is that in order to move between the levels you have to reach an area where there is an elevator that takes you between levels and uh, yeah you will have to uh, complete a certain part of the story in order to access all the levels but uh, once you have unlocked the level you can go there anytime you want to and the enemies they respawn so there is no shortage of combat opportunities and uh, yeah the combat is really amazing uh, the game world is littered with collectibles and uh, upgrade points and stuff you can buy weapons and you can find weapons in special weapon chests and there is this ice thing uh, which helps you in hacking stuff so you are going to be constantly upgrading that as well to access various regions and to unlock various chests the only downside of this title is the story i think because it's a bit confusing or i can say it's not that great but uh, the story serves its purpose in a way that uh, it is supposed to i guess but it is not a strong point of this title the strong point has to be the gameplay and the open world the game looks and feels amazing it uses triple a value and uh, it plays really well it is a decently performing title because these days you can get games and uh, they can look good but they are not very well optimized but here uh, the title is pretty decent in terms of optimization so yeah it looks and plays great and uh, it has got an amazing open world the story is not that great but uh, the game has got a very very amazing replay value because uh, you might be interested in using various weapons in various scenarios and uh, yeah you won't be able to check out every weapon because the weapon points are pretty rare in this title so you are going to be stuck with the same weapon for a while which is a bit of a downside but uh, yeah you can always come back uh, and try another combination so the weapon upgrade points are something which you have to use very carefully uh, the sound design is fantastic all the guns and all the explosions sound and feel great all the explosions have got visible effects on the environment which is really fantastic to look at and uh, yeah I, i've only got good things to say about this title except for the fact that the story is not that good but man this game is crazy uh, i've never seen such an amazing uh, isometric shooter and I was hooked right from the beginning till the end and I'm still playing it after completing the story so that says something so I recommend it to anyone who's looking for something new and uh, the this particular perspective of gameplay if you are okay with this then you are going to love it so that is pretty much it thank you very much for watching